Hi. Welcome everyone in love with our channel. History of the Tadi Kombu. Antique. Thadi Kombu in Dindigul district was a very important place under British rule. Eromigu Sound Araraja Perumal Temple is situated in this place. The sculptures in the temple are also of art. They are also a good example of Nayak's art. Dindigul is 9 km from the bus stand. The place is situated on the Vedasandar Road. The Telugu word Thadakambu is the name. This means palm tree swarm. Bearded palm tree, horn crown, the name may have been derived from the colonization of Telugu people here under Vijayanagar Nayak. The place is also known as Dalavanam and Tulapuri in the history of the mythology. Tulapuri means palm tree village. The place is still full of palm trees. Vijayanagar, Nayak rule. The Panyu natives and the Vijayanagara Nayak kings ruled the Dindigul region with Madurai as their capital. The inscriptions found in Dindigul district are evidence of this. Vijayanagara Emperor Krishna Devaraya (1509–1529) appointed Viswanathan Nayaka as the Raja of the Madurai region. This is a turning point in the history of Tamil Nadu. Viswanathan Nayak. 1529-1564, started the Palakkara system with the help of his commander Aranatha Medalier. 1535 AD. He divided the areas of the Madurai zone into 72 camps and appointed a legacy as the chief minister of each camp as Nanayakaro. He established the town as the headquarters of 18 camps to strengthen Dindiko, the southern border of the Madurai region. This was the basis for the later British formation of Dindigal as a district. The Palampata system was not converted into a camp, and they are not included in any other camps, it was a part of the state. The inscription of Krishnadvraya near Thadakum is referred to as Athampanatu Thadakambu in Dindigal Sirup and hence the undivided areas of the camps were divided into countries and that the Thadakambu was a part of the Athampa country. Battle of Mysore the reign of the Madurai Nayaks lasted for more than 200 years. The Nikur rule fell in 1736 AD during the reign of Meenakshi Maeya, 1732-36 AD. Dindikal, between Madurai and Coimbatore, was considered a politically important place. Hence, the British, the Nawabs of Karnataka, and the kings of Mysore fought frequently to conquer Dindikal. The Bearded Horn escaped the influence of these wars. Two reasons can be given, 1, the bearded comb was located some distance from Dindigal and, 2, the high walls around the town may be the causes for the absence of the enemy. George Winch, 1794-1796, the district collector of Dindigal, said in a statement that the emails were extinct. Dindigal District The Third Mysore War, 1790-1792 began when Said Sahib, appointed by Tipu Sultan, ruled Dindigal. At the beginning of the war, Colonel James Stewart, the British general, defeated Said Sahib and captured Dindigal. This was confirmed by the Sri Nam Treaty. The British declared Dindigal as a district without delay. It was formed as a district with three taluks, Thadikambu, Barayakulam, and Uthamipadam, and 26 palaams. Alexander McLeod was appointed as the first collector, 1790-1794 AD, and a document says that Thruvankatam was appointed as the manager of the Tadakamu. For some time the headquarters of the district was in Thadakum. Land Revenue Administration in Thadakambu. The British conquered Madurai and merged Dindigal with Madurai and formed the same district in 1801. However, as far as the administration of land revenue was concerned, they followed a separate administration for Dindigal. The collector T.B. Hardis (1796–1803) implemented the permanent land revenue scheme introduced in Bengal to increase the revenue of the government. According to the plan, the areas of Dindigal were divided into 40 zaminders, lands measured. One, the Tadikambu, which was a taluka, became Jaman. According to the land. 326 land soil 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 and 4 lands dry were calculated at Thadakum. Their revenue value was fixed as 3,399 star pagoda, 
R apostrophe S.11896.50. The project did not succeed as expected. It was a failure for various reasons. The Ryotwari system was implemented in Dindigal from 1818. The Zamindari system was abolished in Thadikum and the Ryotwari system came into operation. Even today, the land revenue scheme is followed by many amendments. The British found many methods to increase their revenue, but they did not fail to carry out public works. They explored the possibility of water transporting water across the river Godagana and the lands in Thadikum. Dindigul District Dindigul, which had been affiliated with Madurai District for nearly 1995 for nearly 95 years, was declared a separate district in 1985. 17 Dindigul District has been re-established in accordance with the claim of history repeats itself. Thadikambu, a taluka, and Zaminder, has been developed as a village panchayat in 1936 secondary town panchayat since 1964, and primary town panchayat with 30 villages from 1969 till date. Eromigu Saundera Raja Perumal Temple Inscriptions According to the word of the Avoya, temple prayer is good, there are temples in Tamil Nadu. The kings, princes, and political officials who ruled Tamil Nadu donated donations to temples. The kings placed them in stone in popular places, mostly in temples, so that the donors could enjoy them for a long time and avoid the donations of the kings who came after them. These are called inscription and sasana. The Sanskrit word asana means command. Since the later Pandya and Vijayanagara period inscriptions are found in the Aral Migu Saundara Raja Perumal temple, it is good to know the general nature of the inscriptions of the period. The Panya kings have followed Saiva religion but supported all religions. They have given the temples a discretion. They have made a meeting in their name and offered Navantas to the temples. They also offer edicts to the Devarapadikas and through the Imosian daily recitations in Saiva and Vaishnava temples. The inscription sculpted during the Vijayanagara period is written with great, unbeautiful, and errors. The Grantha script is used to write Sanskrit words. Like the Pandyas, the inscriptions are evidence of the rule of the Vijayanagara Nayak kings as religious. Temple Inscriptions The temple of Aralmigu Saundara Raja Perumal is a unique and ancient temple in the Vaishnava temple in Dindigul district. The inscriptions of this temple have been copied and read by the archaeological department. The Indian inscriptions are published in the annual reports. The inscriptions here are fragmented and upside down so we cannot find the full details. These inscriptions may have been shifted during the renovations of the temple. The inscription on the south side of the Ardha Mandapa is inscribed as Sunday Rarasa Purumal in the North House Purimalai Thanakam Bhazagar in Margazi through Adiyana Kalinam. The first Prakara is the strip inscription situated on the walls of the south, west, and north. One. The special puja was arranged in the temple on the star of the birth of the Panya king, name unknown. 2. It tells about the temple authorities. 3. A Pirobayana Chachar Vidi Mangalam, Braham Settlement. 5. The period of these inscriptions is 13th century AD. There is no doubt about the period of the later Panya kings. The south, west, and north walls of the Sanctum Sanctorum are inscribed in the name of Lord. Saundara Raja Perumal, in the Sanskrit and Grantha Tamil forms. It speaks of the administration of the temple. The period is 15th century AD. The inscription found on the south side of the Guru Demand app is an incomplete inscription of Tamil and Grantha. The period of Ramadva, the Vijayanagara king is marked as 1551, 1629 AD, and is a contemporary of Thrumalanayaka. 1623 to 1659 AD. Apart from the inscription on the history of Thestana, the two-page manuscript sculptured by Colonel Colin Mackenzie, entitled The History of Theshadakam Budevastanam, contains the contribution of Pariyan Nambianger to the temple. The period of this manuscript is the first of the 19th century. The inscriptions described above indicate that the temple was built during the later Pandya period and renovated during the Vijayanagara Nayak period. It is also known that the temple is about 800 years old. 
Temple Structure Eromigu Sound Araraja Perumal Temple is a historic temple situated on the eastern bank of Kudagana. A temple is a place of prayer with a great sculpture. From the inscription Purimalai Thadakam Buazagar, the North House, Kalalagar and Madhuraya seen as Sound Araraja Perumal in Thadakam Palai. On the four sides of the chariot and the streets, the large walls, the small tower gate facing east, the beautiful four-legged mandap, followed by a black deep stamp. The Sangu and Vishnu Chakra are on the other side and the other side is a sculpture of Anjana. The temple's temple has five levels and five kulshas facing east. The Dasvatara sculptures of Vishnu decorate the tower in many colors. A temple is a place where people travel on the highway worship the goddess. The Dhuvajastambam, flag post, appears before us on crossing the Rajagapuram. And next to it is the altar. The flag is hoisted during the festival season with the Garuda symbol. There is a method for worshipping Dhuvajastamba. It is customary for men to worship as Tangas and women as Almanac. It is believed that regular worship will bring lasting wealth, long life. The temple tree is a vilva tree. The temple complex has four prakaras, mandapas, sculptures, and forest murals that amaze visitors. Sri Soundara Raja Perumal Shrine On both sides of the shrine are the guards of the Vaikunda Gate, Jayan, and Vijayan, Nwaira Palakas, with Kank and Chakras, right lower hand with Grihastha Mudra and left hand Kadam. The Susistha Muthairai is a sign of a warning by pointing the index finger. It is advisable that devotees who come into the shrine should have goodwill only in their minds. Eromigu Soundara Raja Perumal graces the devotees in the Sanctum Sanctorum in the form of arthropathic face facing east in a standing form with Sridvi and Buddhavi. Of Imana with a vessel, the Sanctum Sanctorum is surrounded by the Sanctum Sanct. The walls of the Sanctum Sanctorum are decorated with beautiful Thanjavar paintings. On the right side of the Mandapa joining the Artha Mandap, the idols of the Vaishnava Akriyas, Manuva Mamuni, Ramanuja, are the idols of Lord Ramanuja. Twenty-one copper idols in the protective room on the left, there are two hands-on colors with always and Akriyas. Sri Garuda he is in front of the Lord with folded hands and wide wings ready to carry the Lord if he leaves for the devotees. A Garuda Vahana Darshan will solve all our sins, they say that if we see the eleven Garuda service, we will not be sinful for ten generations. Sri Vichvaksina Shrine On entering the Rajagapuram gate, the Vilva tree is the temple tree on the right. Next, we see the Vichvaksina Shrine. He is the leader of the forces of Lord Vishnu. He is known as Senayar and Senai Madalyar in Tamil. The Vaishnavas worship the Vichvaksina first and perform good deeds as if the Saivites had worshipped Lord Vinayaka. He is in a sitting posture with Kank and Chakra Sakra situated on both the upper arms, the right lower hand with Avbayahusta Muthairai, and left hand with the story. Eromigu Sound Eroivli Mother Shrine The shrine is situated on the south side of the Prakara of the temple. Mahalakshmi is the mother of Soundarovali with four hands holding lotus flowers in the upper and two hands, and the lower two hands with Abhaya and Varada Mudras. Sri Mahalakshmi, the lord of all wealth, will give blessings and wealth to those who are sincere. The Sangam Nai and Padma Nai, the two of the eight powers of Mahalakshmi, appear in front of the Sanctum Sanctorum with their columns. They will always sit on both sides of Cobra. Sangamani graces from the right hand with a Palampar Kank in his left hand and the right hand with the Vara Mudra. Padmani graces from the left with Padma, Lotus, in his right hand and left hand with a Vara Mudra. It is a special thing that nowhere else is there such a system. Sri Andal Sanyi The shrine is in the Prakara of the temple in the northwest. Lord Andal is in the form of a procession. The shrine has a separate Vimana. The two Prabhans have of Peri as War are Thirtha, Thrupavai, and Nutrathramazi. The historian says that Vijayanagra Emperor Karishnadvaraya, who was very devoted to Thul, who is known as Kathai has established the Andal Shrine in Vaishnava places. The outer walls of the Andal Shrine are elegantly carved with Dasvidaro sculptures. The great Mandap with twenty stone pillars is spacious opposite the presiding deity. Sri Chakra Thalwar Shrine 
The shrine is in the fourth prakara of the temple in the southwest. In front of the shrine, the square-shaped black stone is the image of Chakra Thalvar on one side and the other is the figure of Lord Yoganara Simha. Designed in a rotating system. It is noteworthy that nowhere else does this kind of structure exist. The first of the five weapons of Lord Vishnu is the Chakra Thalvar called Sudarshana. Lord Shiva graces in the Sanctum Sanctorum as Pratyamurthy and Yoganara Simha on the other side. He appears in the Rangam and App with 16 hands in a sacrificing form. It is best to pray on Saturdays to relieve the difficulties of life and to overcome the problems of business. Sri Namalvar Sanctum Nanalvar, the Lord of Always, has a separate shrine in the third prakara of the temple. Namalvar's hymns are the peak of the Vedas. All the hymns are Kathvavu vaults. Though he lived like a saint, he was not a part of the people but before he had to worship the people to God. Mandapams The new mandapas were built in the temples as Pudu Pudu festivals were celebrated during the Vijayanagara Nayaka period. The Oangel Mandapam, Maha Mandap Mandapam, and Ranga Mandapam in the Mother Shrine were built during the Vijayanagara Nayaka period. Munjal Mandapam Lord Pariyai of Vinayaka and Mother Draga are in a standing form facing east on the front of the Anjal Mandap. Draga is called Vishnu Draga. The sculptures of Anjana and Garudavar are in the standing Mandap. The Mother's right side is the place of Anjana and Garuda is on the left. Garudavar is called Pariyayakada and Anjana is called Small Foot. Besides, there are six human sculptures standing. Two of them may be the representatives of the Vijayanagara royal tycoon. The administration of the temple was probably with the government representatives since it was said that many temples were in the administration of the Vijayanagara Nayaka period. The Maha Mand app is decorated with musical pillars on both sides of the front. The structure of the Yali is a show of majesty. The Rangam Mand app is spacious in the facade of the Mother's Shrine and the Sculpture Museum is a museum. The Mandap has seven sculptures in two rows. The monolithic sculptures of about eight to nine feet tall are depicting the sculpture of the Nayak period. The sculptures of the majestic and body-shaped sculptures are a realistic image of fingernails, designs of clothes, fine work of ornaments, and the emotions that are visible on faces. The sculptures are of great beauty and exquisiteness in the temples of the South. These sculptures describe the Saiva Vaishnava legends. They also show the religious endurance of the kings. George Winch, an Englishman, admired the beauty and art of the sculptures. The following are the features of 14 sculptures, 1. Sri Chakra Thalvar. The conch and the chakra are the first of the weapons in Vishnu's hands, important. The chakra is called Sudarshanam in Sanskrit and Tamil Chakra Thalvar. The wheel that rotates in the hands of Vishnu destroys the enemies. In the sculpture, it is depicted as a human figure standing in the ring holding various weapons in his hands. Sculpture Sastra will rise to the sacred thread of the Chakra Thalvar with fire and sixteen arms bearing deadly weapons. The Lail says it is. This sculpture is a wonderful lyric of the Sculpture Sastra grammar. 2. Sri Vikundanita. Vikundanita, also known as Adimurti and Paramipadanita is seated in the adhesive vehicle with his left leg folded and right leg in the sharp. He is in four hands with Kong, Chakra, Lotus, Story Bearing, and is Kong. 3. Sri Rama Lord Rama, the incarnation of Lord Vishnu, the son of Dasyarotha, is the total form of Dharma. The scene of Anjan is sitting on his shoulder and fighting with a bow in his hand. Anjana holds the feet of Lord Ram in both his hands. 4. Murthavadavu. The dance sculpture of Lord Shiva is awe-inspiring. The scene of Adivlin with ten hands, lifting his right leg over his head, and dancing on the left leg, Mayaka, on the passenger. He is holding arms in one hand with a Bhyaastha Mudra in the other. These sculptures are usually found in the temple shrines of the southern district. 5. Sri Aranaya War. The main avatar of Vishnu is the Narasimha avatar. The sculpture shows the scene of his devotee Parakalata emerging from the sun with a lion face and human body to save his devotee from his father, Irani. The scene is realistic with the flaming eyes, long teeth, a hanging tongue, 
and a white chest, twisting his right hand. 6. Sri Cupid. The sculpture of Manid, the son of Vishnu, is seen holding a sugarcane bow and a flower arrow in his grown hands. He is the love god of Hinduism. The sculpture is of a good body and has six hands. Sri Alagalanda Purumo. Vishnu was born as Vanana, the youngest son of Aditi and Kashyap, to take away the three worlds of Indra and retrieve them. He went to Mahibli and requested for a donation of three feet of the earth with his small leg. Then he grew to the sky as Trivikrama and measured the lower world with his right foot and the upper world with his left foot. This sculpture of Lord Purumal is a surprising lyric. The above sculptures are north viewed. Kartavirya as Arjuna. Lord Sudarshana Chakra of Lord Vishnu was born as Karthavirya Arjuna on his orders. He was born on the banks of the Narmada River in North India as the son of Kritavirya, the king of the Kagaya dynasty. He received a thousand hands of the Sudarshan Chakra in a thousand hands. He was a disciple of Dadatriya. He is in the temple with ten hands. He appears in a position to fight with a sword in both arms and bow and arrow in the upper arms. Devotees pray to Lord Shiva to ensure that the devotees do not suffer loss, not stolen, get lost goods, get the missing things, and the separated couple sit together and the establishment of faithful and loyal servants in the industry. The temple of Kudavasal Chanalapuram near Kumkanam is the machine of Kartavirya Arjuna. The Danwa Triarajapita in Balajapat has a statue of Arjuna and a separate Sanya. In South Mil Nadu, the idol of Kartavirya Arjuna is the only temple in the temple. 9. Mahavishnu. In the three of them Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, Vishnu is doing the work of protecting the world. Garuda is sitting on the top of the temple with eight arms, with arms like Kalnik, Chakra, etc. The sight of Garuda with his two hands holding the feet of Vishnu is a source of excitement in the heart of the person. 10. Sri Agarivirabhadra. This sculpture shows the aggressive image of Lord Shiva who destroyed the sacrifice of Daksha. With a fury, he has ten arms with various weapons. Lord Virbhadra with his sword to destroy Daksha appears in his right hand with a majestic appearance. 2. Sri Dhilakali. As in all temples, there is a statue of Tilakali near the idol of Virbhadra. The sculpture is with eight arms, with deadly weapons, eyes sparkling, and a fierce face. There is a fire flame on the head. The fearful aspect of Mother Parvathy is thrilling to the sight. 12. Sri Iranya Samara. He performed penance and received a boon from Brahma. It is a gift that man and beast, in words, in the sky, the earth, day and night, and by the weapons of life and life, and by anything created by Braham, he shall not die. He understood many iniquities by the strength of the gift. Lord Vishnu hated his son Prahlada, a devotee, and gave him suffering. The scene of Lord Vishnu sitting on the stairs at dusk with a lion face and a human body to protect Prahlada from the estrangement from the eternity of Lord Vishnu, is a frightening sight of him, with his sharp nails to wring his chest. 13. Sururati. He was the wife of Manmadan, and he placed a flower sack on Lord Shiva, who was in penance. Lord Shiva who had been dissolved in penance, opened his forehead and buried Manmad. Radhi complains to Vishnu and asked him to take a dip in Sundaratirtha and worship Lord Shiva. Pleased with penance, Lord Shiva granted him the gift that he would only be visible to the eternity of the Lord. The sculpture shows Radhi sitting on the swan bird with a handful of cane in hand. 14. Sri Venagopalan. Krishna, also known as Kanagopalan, is a beautiful figure with a flute in both hands and the tribe hanga position and a slightly folded leg. He has six arms with the conch chakra and other weapons. The sculptors have shown an unlikely craft. The sculptures depicted above are in the south view. Prakaras. Later Kulas and Pandyas ruled Tamil Nadu and built temples by Marpakuram. Such was built during the Vijayana Granayak period. This is not an exception. There are shrines for many sarvas in the third prakara. Sri Ananda Vinayaka is facing north and the twin Vinayaka is said to be here after Tiruvannamalai. One idol is called Ananda Vinayaka, 
The other is the Vignam Thirakam Vinayaka who is worshipped by him and is named Tumbakayal whereas he is named after him. Sri Hayak Rivar Kole Kali Guru Hayak Rivar. He is one of the incarnations of Lord Vishnu with horse-faced faces. For the improvement of education and knowledge, honey is performed to the children on Tiruvona Star Day. For the advancement of education, the slogan of Hyagarvas can be worshipped in the morning and evening. Along with Sri Hyakri, the Dasvidara sculptures of Lord Vishnu and Saraswati, also known as Vani and Vagdevi, are also seen here. Disease Free Sri Danvantri is considered as the god of medicine of Lord Vishnu. He is known as the father of Ayurveda. The other life is infinite wealth no matter how much you have to do in this world, we are happy to enjoy them, and we are a destiny god to live healthily. Praying to the Lord is a disease-free life. Sri Lakshmi Narasimha Hired At Bayahastra Lord Barumal is in his lap with his left leg folded. Abhyavra appears with four hands and conch chakras. Devotees pray to Lord Narasimha and Mother on Swathi Nachalka Pradosha and full moon days to relieve the adverse effects of the Navagras and the problems of the planets. Sri Venugopalaswami Lord Venugopala, Bama, and Rakmani, holds Sadarshana Chakra on his right upper hand and Panchajanyam in the left upper hand, holding a flute with both hands folding his right foot and appearing in a beautiful form. He has eight hands. Devotees pray for child boon and blessings during the puja on Rohini star day. Sri Anjana Anjana, the son of Anjana, graces from the east in a standing form. For success in business and education and for relief from Saturn Dasala, it is advisable to worship on Tuesdays, Saturdays, and Mulan Akshatra solstice days. Sri Svarvana Akarshana Bhairava. He is also known as Kshtrabalaka. Kshtra means temple and Bharaka means cavalin. The keeper of the temple, he also protects the devotees who come. He is praised as Swarna Akarshana Bhairava. He has three eyes and four hands. Dog. He is a serene figure. Every Sunday in Rukulam. The J is taking place. Abhishek and Arkhanas are performed on the Ashtami of the New Moon Day every month. Devotees perform Abhishek to Tirunir, Tilak Red Chandamam, Red Sandalwood, and Red Lotus Flowers. Pray for the recovery of lost assets, relieving obstacles caused by economic difficulties, success in cases, relief from the difficulties of Lord Saturn, and for better mentoring in life. Chariot, Chariot. The old chariot has been repaired and the new chariot has been made. The silver chariot is in the temple. The vehicles are kept in the third caravan with elephants, Garuda, Adisha, Swan, Horse, Numer, Balaku, and Shield to carry procession of deities and procession during the procession. These vehicles are painted with wood. The paintings of Thanjavar, which are associated with the Vaishnavas on the walls of the third Prakara are a feast for the mouth, the eye, and the mind. There are those who see the mythology. Festivals and Special Pujas The puja style of the Aral Migu Raja Purumal temple is performed according to the rules of the Agamas and the southern parts. Stories about God The Agama says that idolatry is the place for a man to fulfill the knowledge that is heard from the Puranas and to worship the mind concentrated. The pujas that were carried out in the early days only to worship the idol of the devotees in the form of idols have expanded greatly over time. Pujas are of three types, eternal, namathika, and kamiya. Eternity is a daily ritual of all things from the day to the big festivals. It is the rule that eternal pujas should not be stopped at any cost. Like pujas, festivals are also essential. During festivals, the procession deities are well decorated and brought in vehicles, palanquins, or chariots for street strolls. Procession deity will circumambulate the third pracker and the silver chariot. Collector George Winch, in a statement, noted that the festivals celebrated in the months of June and December were very special. He also mentioned that procession saints came in a chariot during the festivals. The Bhattacharyas say that the temple was celebrated as the Chaithai Rai festival in Madurai during that period and the Chitra Purnima festival and the Adya festival. 
contemporary festivals The Chittara Purnima festival is celebrated for five days in the Stone Age. Procession of Lord Vishnu in Thirthin. Coming. Saudara Raja Purumal Puja on full moon day. He will descend into the air and grace the devotees. The Adi festival is celebrated for ten days. Processions. He is brought into the streets. For the sun. On Tuesday, he made the incarnation of Andalin Theparamstar. Tars. Purumal annual will be held on Adi Param day. The wedding festival is celebrated with great festivity. Navanaro 3 festival is celebrated in the month of Thuritasi for nine days. The Kalu festival is celebrated in the shrine of mother. Mahusaya Ravrona and Lakshharkana are performed. Laksh Deepakam Kum in Rohini star in Thirtham and Thirtham month of Karthikai. Worship is celebrated with great enthusiasm. Margazi month. Vaikunda Ikadasi is the most important festival. M. The opening of the gate is celebrated with great enthusiasm. The details of special pujas are given below. Sri Sandhya Raja Purumal is the son of Tiruvona Star Puja. Sri Danvin Three Purumal is the new moon puja. Sri Lakshmi Narasimha Swami Swati Star Puja. Arvanagopala Swami Rohini Star Puja. The Ashtami of the Theopiri is celebrated at 5 p.m. on Sunday. Special pujas are performed to the idols of Radhi and Cupid in the Rangam Mandap. It is believed that the marriage obstacles will be removed and soon a marriage will be done by attending the puja on five Thursdays. In addition, the mother will perform Tirumanjanam on Friday at 6.30 pm. The swing service is performed in the Adi and Thai Silver festivals along with the mother and Burumal. Special pujas in Abhishek are performed on the four days of Vini, May to May. August 1st, November 1st, and Masi 11 in the year. During the holy season, special Abhisheks and pujas are performed to Lord Vishnu for the blessings of Lord Vishnu. Those who are unable to perform Tarpanams for their fathers due to lack of time or other reasons will be relieved of the defect symptoms and their families are also believed to be well. It is noteworthy that Eral Migu Raja Purumal is the family deity of some families. The tourists from outside are likely to grow and improve the economy of the place. It is no exaggeration to say that the festivals here help people to gather together and promote unity irrespective of caste.